Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Me neither. I can't believe this pot is still here. Apparently the parts are valuable, so they get salvaged pretty fast. <sighs> I guess this is... where everything got started. I still remember that day. It wasn't even that long ago, but it feels like it's been forever. You drop down from the sky in this pod. Then Dark Falls attacked, and Aleotown was... <sighs> I've wondered so many times since then. What would I have thought of the person I am now? There have been some really hard times, but I've made lots of good memories, too. I've had so many adventures with you and Manon. I also like to think I'm a better Arx defender now. <laughs> I'm sure my dad would set me straight on that if he was here. But I just know I'll get to where I need to be if I keep pushing myself and never, ever give up. I just know it. So, thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without you and Manon. It's uh, a little embarrassing saying it like this, but I've been wanting to express my gratitude for a while. Here's to more adventures.
Uh. Oh, it's you. You startled me. I was just in Russell Forest, but I'm having a hard time by myself. Not only are the enemies tough, but they come from out of nowhere. And it's really scary. Uh, I mean, I'm not used to it yet. But I definitely think I've gotten better at fighting since the first time I was there. I remember how nervous I was. It was all I could do just to follow you two. I don't even remember the path we took that day. But I grew a lot from that experience, so I'm really glad I did it. I can't thank you and Manon enough. I know. <laughs> thank you so much. When I heard that Nex Alio had appeared, and Dozer had gone missing, all I knew was that I had to volunteer to help. I wasn't even thinking about enemies, or what kind of place Rezzle Forest might be. When both of you agreed to let me join, it made me feel like I could handle it. I felt like just as long as we were together, I didn't need to be afraid of any enemy. My dad used to always get so mad at me and say, You always act without thinking. But he also used to say that it was better than overthinking things and doing nothing. I think that's probably just how I am. Hey, will you promise to stop me if I'm ever about to do something really dumb? If I know you and Manon are there to put the brakes on me, then I'll be free to go full speed ahead. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad I have you around to help me. Thank you. Oh! I didn't know you were here. I think... I'll write in my ARC's activity journal now. I like to write down things like what enemies I fought today, or minerals I found. I keep track of my daily activities. I originally started by copying Manon after she showed me her journal a while back. But her journal is like, super detailed. She keeps records of things like enemy weak points and behaviors, where she found which mineral, what it does, stuff like that. I take a look at it once in a while, and it's really helpful. She's a really good teacher, too. A professor? Yeah, I guess you could say Manon's my professor. I mean, no one ever taught me how to be an Arx Defender when I was in Alio Town. I think I mentioned it before, but my dad was always telling me I was still too young. But ever since Manon showed up, she's taught me so many things. I mean, all I've really been doing is following her around, but... I've learned stuff like how to fight and which fruits and vegetables are safe to eat. Everything I know about being an Arx Defender, I learned from her. That's why I think of her as my professor, as far as being Ark's defender, at least. But she's also someone I can count on, almost like a big sister. Uh, so that's why it's so important for me to do the best I can to pull my own weight. And thank you, too. Well, I better get going now. See you later! Ah, there you are. I really appreciate all the hard work you do for us every day.
<laughs> Nonsense. Your contributions have been invaluable. I was, uh, just looking at your activity reports, actually. This is the report for Manon. Excellent records, meticulous and detailed. If you could, whenever you have a chance. Ina has sent me several reports as well. It's clear she put a lot of thought and effort into them. Ran and the other operators take care of organizing all of this report data for me. I don't have to lift a finger. I just sit back, have some tea, and wait for the data to come to me. Meanwhile, out in the field, Dozer expertly leads the command in the fight against the dolls. Ran and the others have gotten great at coordinating all the communications, too. Compared to the old days, my job has gotten much easier. And now, I have you three helping as well. At this rate, pretty soon, my only responsibility will be to sit and keep my chair warm. <laughs> of course, there's no guarantee that these easy conditions will continue indefinitely. It only takes a single card to fall for the whole house to come tumbling down. That's why I have to make sure to plan every aspect carefully to keep the structure intact. Of course, a strong foundation in the first place is important. Trust me, as the leader of Central City, I intend to carry out these duties to the best of my abilities. Now I have this nagging feeling that Ran asked me to do something. I'd better get back to work. Oh, one more thing. Would you mind stopping by again sometime? I love getting updates from you. Until next time, then. What are you doing here? Wow, that means a lot to me. I visit too, once in a while. I give my dad updates about what's going on. Like, hey, this is what I did the other day. Or, hey, I'm thinking about doing this or that. <sighs> Talking to him like that while I clean up the monument really helps calm me down. And it also brings back memories. I remember this one time I was practicing gliding by myself and I got stuck in this really tall tree. Or another time I was hunting teams and I got completely lost. My dad would always come flying to bail me out with this super angry look on his face. And then he would take me aside and tell me not to do that kind of thing. The people of the town would always stick up for me when my dad got like that. They'd all try to comfort me, and then go get in my dad's face for me and stuff. I used to hate it, because I really didn't want any kind of special treatment. But looking back, now I understand they were all just doing that because they really cared about me. <sighs> and now... And now they're all gone. It hurts. I'm okay. They laid down their lives for us. There's no way I can let them down. Well, time to give my dad an update. Wanna do it with me? <laughs> <laughs>